Right, it's back. It's back. It's Wario time. It's Wario time. Gas in me, right? We're gonna play Mario. Storm the castle. to do it. Maybe they'll respawn. Oh well. Oh, you'll do. of the delicious shiny coins. I want them. I want these coins. There we go. Got them. Now I just have to wait. Wah! 
I'm inevitably going to lose those two coins at some point, but... But, you know, fuck it. Pokemon, I am a tiny, tiny Wario. Thank you. Right, I think I've fucked this room. I need to go in and out. Wizard! Hit me! Thank you. Thank you, wizard. Dang it. I have to be small again. Gotta get small again. You heard what I said, Punker Jeff. I fucked the room. Oh, another furniture room. Okay. want to go. I'll go in this door. Hey! Safe state. On this perfectly legitimate Game Boy. Alright, cloud. Yeah! 
a cloak. The answer to how many money rooms Wario needs is all of them. Because all the money is Wario's. All of it. It's all Wario's. It's Wario's money. have lowered. And now there's a door. Fuck you. Ah. Yep. Damn it. The exit is there. Fucker doesn't see doesn't see me coming. The stealthiest motherfucker. Wario. Oh 
by the way, I'm dead now. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, shit. Jump while I'm dead! I need the money! Damn it. Get the number! Could be anything. Could still be anything. Could still be anything. Could still be anything. Uh, it's zero. Alright, another panel of the big thing. Oh, I guess I'm on the actual path. How about that? So I've done this path. I haven't done the path that goes that down there. And then divides to go here and... Oh, wow. Okay. And then... This path and then there's this path. Alright. Defeat four ducks! Ah, uh, yes. The, the, the ultimate life form. A duck. here that will kill me. Nah. Alright. Duck in covering doesn't work against ghosts. What a shock. Damn it. It's not going to be pleasant. No! Ah! 
Damn it! Going all the way back. Please, Wario. Stop turning into a zombie ghost. Duck one destroyed. Fuck you, birds! I didn't even fucking step on it! Right, vanished. Oh, I see. Platforms next to them are the order I need to do the doors in. So I need to do two now. Those are switch blocks. Hmm. Hello, Doc. I need to get in there. Hmm. Okay. Dead. Damn it! 
just missed it. Alright, Duck 2 is dead. down there number three. Yes, I must do it now. What's that? Oh, it's an ice cube for the enemy block destruction. Yes. There is nowhere to go. to do a proper stomp. Yeah. Damn it! Dead. Alright, duck three destroyed. Why am I destroying these ducks? I don't know. I mean, they are home invaders. They invaded my beautiful castle. Oh. jump on them and pick them up. Never mind. Oh. 
What? Yeah, I'm just going to do it this way. There we go, I'm across. Fuck it. I don't need to do it the way the game wants me to. Fuck it. And I needed to do it too. Jeez. slightly. Uh, someone, of course, was a massive sadist when they decided to do it this way. Okay, I'm out.
jumping on enemies mechanic is a bit fiddly in this game. I'll say that. disappeared. with me. Thank you. I'm here. Points for that one, but uh, whatever.
Nothing else here. This is places fiddly. Well, that's a door, but I didn't see a door the other way, so I'm gonna go examine that. I, uh, I, it's 
level is ridiculous. I think I've gone to the wrong place. That's not what I'm after.
Hey, you're always welcome, Mary. Feel free. Ready whenever you're ready, anyway. Oh, but I didn't need that guy. usual because I had stuff to actually do in real life. God, real life. Yeah. Ugh. I was off a, a socialism thing with Pyro. Alright. So, you know, that takes priority. It does. Ah, working chat. Here we go. Right. Hopefully I'm streaming the right thing, yeah. Uh, Seems to yeah, be. We'll, we'll find out shortly, I suppose. Uh -huh. And... Uh, don't forget to set up the side stream so that I can actually see I what you're doing. I have not done that yet, yet no. Because, Take well, your time. I only just made this all. <laughs> yeah. And there you are. Here I am. The new me. Uh huh, I got set up all the Wild Luigi accoutrements. Yeah, it's necessary. It's necessary. There we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, Luigi, I'm gonna win! Yeah. Yeah, right. We're here. <laughs> we are here. In Mario... Sorry, in Wario's what? Fifth layer of secret money rooms. Because there's so many. There's so many. God. Ah, <laughs> uh, so... So let's go off on a... On a slightly odd tangent for that, like, this kind of thing reminds me of, there's, in Metroid 2, like, the Game Boy Metroid yeah. one, uh, Return of Samus, yeah. th like, there were rumours of, oh, there's these secret worlds you can get to by doing certain chains of events, or just, like, endlessly sprawling caverns, and obviously it's like, you glitch the game out and it doesn't know what map data to display and it starts, like, displaying sound data as maps yeah. and stuff. Oh, the, like, endless, labyrinthine money rooms just remind me of that. This level is pretty, like... I don't even know what that is. Uh, hold on, I need to do the side stream. Uh, yeah. you can... Alright, yeah. Something... What is that? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what that is. It's a mystery to everyone.
Oh, and the Gunshu chat right now is about QTO is relating stories of robots built specifically to be rats. <laughs> If a big buff version of myself kept bullying me, I'd lose my mind, says QTO. <laughs> because of course you need to make rats depressed to test antidepressants on them. Hmm. This, this is an objectively insane thing to say, yeah. but, you know. Ram every wall because there's no indication of where anything is. There we are. Just in case. Okay. I don't trust this level. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's like a, it's like a cod piece? I don't know. What? Uh, yeah, I'd say something like that, or a shield turned to the side, or... God, and there's just that? an oddly shaped knee pad. What? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it could be like a shoulder pad or something. Uh, maybe? The and treasured like, shoulder pad. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. We used to call and rejoin. I think my audio is a bit decent. Video. Oh. Ah, there we go. You good? I don't know, the video was lagging like crazy. <laughs> oh man. Give me a second. Sure. Looks like it's the last level of this particular branch. Incoming. Mm -hmm. Mutual servants, none. Mutual friends, none. How about ignore and mm. maybe block? Yeah. Yeah, just block them. Also, yeah. their, their, their avatar is check bio with live over the top. Aha. Uh -huh. I think you need to kill them. I, I've killed them. They're dead. They're, they're, they're dead now. Anyway, they're dead. Moving on. I already killed three bots at the start of this stream. Might as well add one more to it. Except it isn't the final battle. Oh my god, it dropped me right under one of the window people immediately! Yeah, I am lagging there, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, it should be it's my there. end, actually. Nah, probably my end. It was working fine for you. I mean, no, I I, I don't know. I mean, it might it could be my end of the Discord call. I don't know. Yeah. I'll You're just like... start it over. Just... Alright. Yeah. That's uh, more. Convenient, yeah. yeah, I'll just start it over and we'll see what happens.
Yeah, you'd also have to leave it so we could reset it. Oh. Welcome back. Welcome back. Assuming that we're alive, I genuinely we don't are know still if we alive. actually are. We're live. We're live. We're live. We are always we're, live. We're live. We're seven non-stop moments. Yeah. We never sleep. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah, that seems to fit it on my end. Yeah, thought it was worth a shot. Yeah. Those, those are definitely synced up. I hate I those. You I hate get those. attacked in real time. Second last paths that you have to go down? No, there's still a plant, there's still a few others. Oh. Ah, right, there must be shorter paths then, this is one down near the bottom. Nah, remember her Shadow the Hedgehog had the. Oh, the tranching paths and yeah. technically like 2,000 endings or something stupid like that because the yeah. like, there was, like chopped together for it. Yeah, because there was like minor differences in various different things and all just sort of chopped together. Yeah, and you got a unique like name for each path and it's like, why would you do it this way? <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Like, it's wild that he did it. It just doesn't seem a terrible amount of point in doing so. The, the gameplay of Shadow is not great. It's wildly inconsistent. Well, you know. Oh, thank you. You, you, there you, we go. you. That's what you needed. That's what that is. What I needed. Now. Back to the start. You. Your mind. Can't jump there. And it'll all be set. No. I was making headway, but now you. You'll do. I can't jump there! Right, so I'm looking this, this up on MarioWiki.com yeah. The free Mario Wikipedia that anyone can edit. Yeah. Uh, and the level Find the Hidden Door, which I assume is the one that was the one just before this one. Just then, yeah. has a hidden treasure shield. That's a shield. It's a apparently. shield held to the side.
Apparently the level before that was defeat four dots. Which I guess it was, yeah. you did. I did, I had to kill four dots. <laughs> that was the that was the objective. I don't know why that was the objective. It just was. Yeah. Yeah, if you're wondering what oh, these treasures are, I can probably use them up on this. But that was an immediate mystery, so... There we go. There he's out of his usefulness. Ah, I can't just kill him because he wouldn't... Oh! He actually died. Strong. Die. Yeah. Right, I think I've officially bollocked up this room. So, I need to go back and pull this spot for you. Uh, I need to get a penguin to the uh, penguin across to the other side. and then I'll head back and then I'll just get there because the, it's open now so whatever <laughs> Have to not. Yeah, okay. Spooky spots, what's in the bar? Crowd. 
Yeah, that one's easy. Yeah, I can always spot that one. Is that one has the most distinct silhouette, really? It's a crown! Crown. It's a crown. Of course it is. That, that's a good one for a, you know, final boss level. Yeah. It's time for the boss. This one seems oh. so hard. Oh. oh my god, JC, a bomb. A bomb! Die, penguins! Hey, guess what? It's called Safe State. <laughs> it's called Safe State? Yeah, I, I, I am utterly unashamed. Don't be ashamed of Safe Sky. Ah, okay. Ah. Ah. Actually, to be fair, there's still money to be had going back this way, so... <laughs> yeah, I meant to lose that boss. Yeah, uh, it's part of my master plan. To get back to the bit where there was money, which is here. Okay. 
apparently another door that I don't remember. Magic! There does actually really seem to be a whole lot of level you only get to from, beat, from losing to the boss. That's just how it is in Wario sometimes. Do what I think I have to do. Uh, yeah, it is. It is what I have yes, to do. Yes, that's right, Wario. You must file your taxes. Well, I buggered that, so never yeah, mind. Yeah, you need you need them to be on the the one that you just destroyed. Yeah, so, so too bad. That's the end of that. another shot. Guys. Yeah. Anyway, I just realized how I could have actually potentially done all that a lot easier. That it doesn't involve doing that. So I'm just gonna go in and out. Ah damn it! I need to not Kill them. Magic. Come back. Come back. Maybe you need that one block that is destroyed now. Do you not get any extra height yeah. off this guy? Yeah, I'm not. Okay. 
I do need that block, but I don't need to jump off it. So, so in this instance, it's completely fucked, and I can't do anything about it. So, oh well. Well, once again, failed to get those coins that are, like, you jump down to get. Oh no! Although now that we're thinking about, you know, I'm thinking about Shadow the Hedgehog again. And how somehow Sega's designers went, hey, Shadow is black, let's give him a gun. Yeah, that was uh, a bit of a stretch. Fairness, he's a gun and a motorcycle and is ambivalent towards good and evil, so it's it's less of that and more just they wanted to make him really edgy. Yes, but he is the black hedgehog in the game of a gun. Yeah. I, I I you know, you can't really entirely separate that. Oh no, you can't completely ignore that. You can't, you can't. I mean I they might have just been so tone deaf as to have done, have done that for different reasons, but man. This time I actually am safe staying and actually gonna make use of it. what needs to be done. I need and now she's red and angry. And she's dead. And she's only capable of being in games on the virtual boy. Could be five, could be six. It's six. His castle is being destroyed. Ah. 
Wow, they're dead. Like, that wasn't blasting off into the sky. They hit the ground. They're dead. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're back here at the credits again. Let it play out. Yep. That owl is quite cross. Oh. It's just because they're balancing all that money on their like... Yeah, you don't think of the owl for any money. No. No, this is all for Wario. on social media so that links to those account to the bot account appear on the pages of those social media accounts and then they basically sell on the bots saying oh this has all these connections to other social media it's all a scam mm. there's no substance to it but since there are people willing to buy those accounts, like en masse, then they're valuable. Sometimes it's just to legitimize, like, Google looks at, oh, this site has a bunch of people linking to it, and these are all actual accounts that follow other accounts, they must be real. Therefore, I'll move this up in the search rankings. Mm. Not just Google, all these other sites. Again, most of them don't work this way. It wouldn't surprise me if Twitter did, but that's because Twitter's kind of not great right now. Yeah, Twitter, that thing that's called Twitter. Twitter. The thing that has only ever been called Twitter. Yeah, and, and you know, only ever will the be. The word tweet appears in the dictionary. Yeah. Only a complete buffoon <sighs> would try to get rid of that much linguistic yes. presence in your product. Only an absolute, complete nincompoop. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know what the current idiot. scandal with him is, because who even bothers keeping up with him anymore? Look, He's... there's so many of them. Who even... You could make up anything about him and I'd just go, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, you know saying that he's a completely stupid idiot oh, no. for giving up the, I... an identity that is, like, so prevalent and so pervasive yeah, in modern you language. Had, you had market penetration that nobody could ever match. You were literally in the dictionary and you went, we're changing it to the letter X. Yeah. God. Apparently his latest thing from something that's on my 
What's yeah. this called? Dashboard timeline? Whatever. Is yeah. someone quote retweeting? Apparently, he's going. He's planning on moving to an economic model, a small monthly payment to use Twitter. Haha, <laughs> fuck off. It's like. If you made me pay for that site, I would just leave. Yeah, I'd, I'd just go. I I I don't need it. It would lose all value it has. Yeah, it. The, the point, like the value of it, is that it isn't a closed off. Yeah. Place. It isn't. <laughs> the thing is, there were like disaster warnings. There were like live updates on like actually important things on the news, on social events, and he's going, actually, I should get money every time anyone reads a warning about a tornado coming. It's like, wow. 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 I kind of want him to die now. Yeah, why, why, do, why doesn't he... Okay, we, we... Let's have a huge disaster exactly where he is. Let's do that. I mean, that can be arranged. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be good? Viewers, you know what to do. Yeah. Alright, so I need to get from here. Okay, so yeah, here's... This is what we've got. We've got this path here. Which, uh, I have to get from this level somehow to this group of five levels. And then we've also got... Go from here down this group of levels, but it, that also branches off to one up here, and then more down here, and, and that and also branches off over yeah. that way. No time. So, yeah, I now need to... This is the simplest one, because it's just find whatever secret yeah, entrance is here and then do it. Moped. Yeah, this seems to be the simplest way. Because it's just go along this route once I found the entrance. Oh, this level. Okay. Die. the Tumblr owners, but for, like, slightly different reasons. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I haven't used it at all since the Great Purge, but, yeah. uh, even then, I find I it hard to have... just... I find it hard to look at people's posts on there, because they eventually say, Hey, you aren't signed in. You can't look at this. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like... It did... And I'm like, I do, do have an account. To make an account and never use the, the site, or do you want them to be able to use the site? And apparently the priority is no, we need people signing up. Yeah, but I'm like Which is why you get bot accounts, because those are incentivized. Yeah. Like, I have an account. I never deleted my account. Yeah. It's just uh you're not always signed in. No. Why would you be? I, I'm not signed in. So, and whenever and one am, of those prompts comes up, really my reaction right. isn't, oh, I should sign in. It's, well, fuck this. Yeah. I, uh, my big thing is I hate being made to jump through hoops to do anything that should be simple. Agreed. And when someone's like, actually, you need to sign in to use your two-factor authentication, and you need to, like, answer security questions, and it's like, well, screw this. Mm. And just wander off and do something else. In the same way that, like, when I watch any 
anything online that I'm not watching through legal channels, it's because the legal channels are deliberately obnoxious to milk more, like, personal information out of you, or to get you to to pay for a subscription to take away ads that they put in solely to make you pay for a subscription. And if you make things difficult for people, most of the time they're just going to go, well, screw that and believe. Yes! Right! Found it! Cool! So yeah, uh... Twitter sucks. Uh, and it's... It's called Twitter. And, uh, Tumblr sucks. And it's called Tumblr. I don't know why I mentioned that, it's it was it's self evident. It's... MySpace, a possibly live journal. <laughs> Tumblr sucks and it's also called Twitter. <laughs> God, I've seen the layout. Alright, we're off to a spooky mansion. I guess I'm gonna be turning into a zombie a lot here, I guess. Why are you land too? Because it became a horror game. Uh, okay. A giant spearman. Again. Yeah. An evil hen! Oh. Ah. Look at that spider. And if it bites you, you become a spider, Wario. Let's find out. I assume nope. it's just background they still. Don't. It's not actually an effect you can get. Huh. Invisible platforms! Okay. Time for invisible platforming, I guess. Oh, this is going to be a pain. That was it! That was all that was up here! Yep, that's it! Let's check every floor, ceiling, and wall now. Oh! You chicken? They weren't there before! And they're basically indestructible, it seems.
Stop saying things! Damn it, hens! Oh, good. Oh, good! Invisible, fl invisible floors, the level. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be a like, good time that everyone is, the, the ghost house theme is also seems super annoying. Please don't do this in game design. Yeah, please never do this. Wow, what's this trial and error platforming? You know what was even better than the invisible walls, the invisible platforms? The fact that there was nothing up there! Oh, the enemies have changed. Ah, oh, they're changing to what's in front of the door that I'm, uh, that I went in. The fact that Wario just crumples. Yeah. Wario would not struggle at all with the ghost houses, ghost houses in Super Mario World. Yeah, not at all. Like he'd get lost, but he'd just blunder through them, turning into a zombie every so often. Damn it! You've released the evil spirit! Yeah, well... Oh, Justice is asking who you are! Oh? Oh, hi, uh, I'm Mary the Rabbit. I sometimes guest on these shows. Uh... Yeah. Usually I'm not dressed as Waluigi. Yeah, that's not normal. Yeah. It's just for special occasions. Yeah, I... The thing is, I kept meaning to make an actual, like, Wario outfit to go with this, never did. This is, like, eh, 
not that interesting to do. <laughs> also, I keep forgetting to. Let's see what other outfits I even have. Cowgirl. Ah, uh, the inscription one. Need outfit. Switch back to golf mode. Which is kind of my default for some reason. Mm. I haven't found one I like better as a default yet. Yeah. Not really well. Because there is straight up like a bunny suit one, but it's like, eh, that's more of a joke. been guesting on most of the Wario streams. Ah! There we go. I feel better. Since you did ask. <laughs> God, the all invisible blocks level. <laughs> it fucking sucks. It does seem like it sucks. I don't care. Right, we're here. I could have avoided that, but I didn't. Because I'm not good. Ah! They changed direction! Spiders. Ah! The spiders are friendly. Yeah, so being turned into a zombie here is exclusively bad. Oh, oh God. This is no longer an invisible platforms level, hopefully. Now it's just become electrocuted, the level. This is the room of, of electricity, but it's the room of too much electricity. You might want to wear a hat. Yeah, now we can see. Oh! There was a door! There was a secret door all along. Ah. ah. So I couldn't have known this was there, but I guess I could have gone in it if I'd known? Yeah, you could have just guessed blindly that it was there. Those enemies look like they're being racist. That's a good question, Flask <laughs> Justin. <laughs> this 
zombies? Uh, they might have been meaning the bugs. The bugs. Oh, a clock! Bug guys tase you? Oh yeah, um Those ones, these ones right yeah, here. I I can kinda see what you mean there, yeah. Mm. It's not like <laughs> like I didn't get it immediately, so I guess it's not exactly that trope, but I can see what you mean. Yeah, one of the treasures was some kind of mask that happened to look a lot more like that yeah. very unfortunate trope. Yeah. Yeah, now, you gotta hand it to no one at all, ever. No. You do not, under any circumstances, gotta hand it to them. Yeah, you don't. You don't do that. You don't gotta hand it to them. Anyway. Oh look, these are now also here. Let me guess, there's a door up here too. Yeah, so... Yep. Yeah? Also, so... fuck this guy. Fuck this ape! The comic I've been rambling about lately has been Captain Marvel, as in Shazam, yeah. the, the DC Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, Which is very bizarre at times. It's, it's bizarre. It's an extremely, like, it's, it's a comic that was contemporary with Superman as it was starting. Mm. And they kind of both ripped each other off a lot. Uh, dur during World War Two, it was actually a bigger seller than Superman, and it was basically at some points just printed as war propaganda. So you get some kind of very racist tropes in, in like in certain early storylines, but. There's one character who, who was, for a while, Captain Marvel's sidekick, who has a design that's so much of a racist caricature that there was a write-in campaign saying, please do not ever put this character in another comic. Please, we are begging you. In 1945. Damn. But it's like, damn, how racist do you have to be? And I looked up and I went, no, no, yeah, they're right. <laughs> it's exactly what you think it is. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. Like, any time you go, oh, this kind of reminds me of, like, unfortunate, like, minstrel tropes. It's like, <laughs> no, this guy is just every one of them. And it's like, yeah. There's a reason they retired him, and why the publisher went, Yeah, I hated that too. Thank you for giving me an excuse to get rid of him. <laughs> and he was just unceremoniously never seen again. Good. And it's like, yeah. Because there are characters, it's like, oh, this is a Japanese supervillain who we've drawn in a really, like, kind of really offensive kind way. Of offensive but then, way. if they ever come back, it's like, okay. We've taken the core concept and just made it not so hideously racist. <laughs> but with this guy, there was no salvaging anything. Alright, so I can get back this way. I, I can't even say, oh, it you was of its time. I'm, while I'm thinking about this it. This was 1945. Go ahead. Uh, mm, trying to think of this is reminding me of another thing, uh, another comic which had just for some reason the most horrifically racist sidekick that you could ever imagine. 
And I'm trying to remember what it was. I'm, I'm, I'm looking this up so that I don't just... Oh yeah, it was it was in the spirit by uh by Isaac. Ah, yeah. God, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a picture so you can see. I'm not gonna put this on the stream because holy shit. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I. Yeah. Their name was Ebony White. Oh god. Yes, yeah, so the Captain Marvel character I was talking about was a character called Steamboat and oh, no. like he he's basically exactly that character. Like oh. I'm not gonna post oh. a picture of yeah, him. Yeah, don't so don't even like, no. Yeah, I know, I know, I can get it. Oh no. God. Every single hit on um, like googling this is is poisoning what your were they thinking? Like racially insensitive stereotype characters on Flickr, and it's like great. Oh God, this is even worse than I thought. Man. Yeah, so, the thing is, Captain Marvel, like, Captain Marvel is genuinely a good comic, like, there's a lot of runs of it that are, that are fun and silly, and it's got a, it's got a different tone to a lot of the DC universe, but it still, like, very much feels like a very classic style of superhero storytelling where wacky stuff is happening all the time and like one of his supporting cast is an anthropomorphic talking tiger gentleman and he's like he's a beloved character but also like there's no getting around sometimes yeah this was a very long running comic and the creator was well, he had some opinions. Hmm. It's like, yeah. And again, some of this was during World War II, and it's like, okay, this is this is not okay, but it's understandable. Yeah, you obviously like, want to like demonize, demonize and make your and yeah. your uh, wartime enemies look the worst they possibly could. Yeah, because that's what you do if you're a weird propagandist. Yeah. So the thing is... It's horrible and it's reprehensible yeah. and it shouldn't be done, but you can... You, it shouldn't you be done, but... But it's, like, it's done... It's at least... Okay, we can understand how this happened, if not, like, actually justify it. Because nothing yeah, we can can't justify, justify that. We can't justify it, but... So... The thing is, right... Yeah. One of, like, the very first, like, big supervillain team-ups that, oh, we'll get all of this character's enemies together to destroy them. Like, one that predates basically all of the big name ones. I think it might even predate the Legion of Doom. That certainly predates the Sinister Six or any of the other, other big name ones like that. Uh... It was such a big crossover, in fact, it had characters who had fought other supervillains, all uh, other superheroes, all united under one villain, the mysterious Mr. Mind, a disembodied voice who always gave his orders for the radio. Of course, he turns out, as everyone knows at this point, to be yeah. a two-inch tall worm, who is kind of adorable. But also, like, is history's greatest monster in the setting, and is great. And it's like he founds the Monster Society of Evil. And this is like in 1943 or something. There'd be nothing like it. It was just like, yeah, every issue was. Yeah, he sent out another new supervillain to fight Captain Marvel, and this is this continuous plotline. 
And that's just the, the conceit of that whole run. Unfortunately, like, four or five issues in, it suddenly becomes hideously racist. Because oh. uh, it's... Because they go to Africa and everyone there is... You can imagine what that's like. They're all cannibals. It's awful. There's some really pointed caricatures of the Japanese, which are not flattering at all. Because again, again, you point out 1943. Oddly, that serialized storyline ran long enough that, like, in the first couple of years of it, since World War II was still going on, Mr. Mind, like, a lot of his henchmen were Nazis. They were mm. Captain Nazi, the super soldier created by Germany. The, yeah, I've seen them turn the, up occasionally in things. The, there were, like, explicitly, like, oh, these are Japanese soldiers are helping in this plot, or whatever, like, and then, because the war ended, like, the in-story justification was just like, well, now they s they've stopped working for the supervillain who's running the whole thing. <laughs> so it gradually, like, it had the, the effect of seeming like he just ran out of Nazis to, for, to throw at Captain Marvel, and so yeah. he was going, alright, let's bring in gangsters and aliens and robots and everything, just like, fill in the gaps because we've lost so many henchmen in this absolute meat grinder. <laughs> like, that could genuinely be done well. It's just uncomfortable to read nowadays. There's a reason it never got a trade paperback. It was just released to the public domain. Well, one reason was the legal grey area of who actually owns the storyline, given DC technically owned the character now, but he was not originally a DC character. That's a lot of DC characters, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, like, a lot of them were, like, from Charlton, or, you know. Yeah. Oh, everything to do with Watchmen. Oh, yeah, they were all, like, uh, they were supposed yeah. to be... Charlton they were supposed to be I the think. characters in that, so any of the characters that they're based on also have the same issue, that they technically can't reprint a lot of their stories. Mm. Uh, but the thing is, this Captain Marvel run, like, it's historically significant, it's in the public domain, and it's never going to be officially printed again, because again... Yeah. Yeah, you look at the art and you go, oh yeah, right, this is the this is the forties. Damn it! Like, not that everyone was like that in the forties. Again, people justifiably wrote in and said, Hey, can you can you dial it back of this? Not do this? <laughs> this sucks. Why would yeah. you do this? So while there has been, like, a... there has been a story run called The Monster Society of Evil, which uses the very loose, like, outline of the plot, but it boils it down to just a Mr. Mind plot and not any of the other big villains. Well, Dr. Savannah as well, but he's not really as important part of that. Uh, And it feels like there is something you could do with that kind of story, but at this point it's probably better just let sleeping dogs lie. Uh, at least there's a current ongoing Shazam, which is pretty good. Uh, falls on from... Uh, the one that Pyro pointed to uh, a picture from, like, a, a screen cap of, oh, I would read this comic, and it's the Wildlands, just the, the the magical realm of furries. Yeah, that's that's just, you know, We're... Captain Marvel, you know? It's, yeah. it's just, yeah. You, you've got to have some kind of tiger person in Captain Marvel, it's just a thing. Oh, here he is. Get back. 
Get back over here. Yeah. Oh, he's gotten himself into a place where I can't easily hurt him. No, he's become invincible. to slightly adjust my tactics. Now he's yeah, dead. There are... Yeah. There are a lot of comics that I have been reading to... I have... Sorry, I have been meaning to read more of. Yeah. Uh... But I think I'm gonna give the rest of that story arc of this. Honestly, if you want to see a good take on Captain Marvel slash Shazam, just watch the 2019 movie. Was it 2019? Yeah, probably. Something like that. Because that basically is the is how the character is in current continuity. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. There's a lot of heart to it. God, that's a real difference from the usual DC movie output lately. Yeah, most of it, somehow it's one of the most beloved of the DC... It's sort of in the DC universe, it has some cameos from just like things that imply that it's in, in that universe, while it's not being a big part of it. Like, Superman is mentioned by name a couple of times. As far as I recall, Superman Very does, like, show show up in the Black Adam movie, so... Yeah. And that's... and Black Adam's a part of the whole Shazam stuff, so... Oh, Black Adam is... so... Black Adam, for a long time, was the only, like... He was the Captain Marvel character who actually got to appear in storylines. Like, Captain Marvel's... Rogue's Gallery, and including Black Adam as kind of an anti-hero character now, got more exposure than Captain Marvel himself. In fact, when, during the times when they weren't sure who actually owned the character they made up, a different character who's almost the same as him called Captain Thunder as just like a wink to... Yeah, we can't have him here, but if we could, wouldn't it be cool? Mm. Yeah. They're sort of the same person, it doesn't really matter. But Black Adam d did have quite a lot of, like, story appearances. He's, he's actually become more of a rival to Superman than Captain Marvel ever was. <laughs> He's also apparently involved in Hawkman stories, but I don't know anything about that. Uh... Yeah. Honestly, the, the thing that introduced me to a lot of the concepts from that side of the DC Universe was 52, which is still an excellent comic. Don't get it confused with the new 52, which kind of uh, yeah, sucks. Yeah, that was something else. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember that. The 52 remember that. being the 52 issue run of basically a huge crossover between a whole bunch of storylines. It actually resolves all the two staff aspects really in all respects. And it does have a very prominent. Oh! Hey, that genie problem. Oh! I have. Uh, that genie problem has, has followed. How oh, nice! Nice! Thanks for follow! Somehow, you've decided this is content you want to see. Yeah, somehow you, you decided to follow in the middle of my rant about Captain Marvel. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? And not even a Captain Marvel anyone cares about. Mm. I have not actually read much of Marvel's Captain Marvel. Uh, and Kurt, well, actually, there's two prominent characters of that name. Yeah? Oh no, I hit the uh, Twitch twice! I have been meaning to read, 
read more stuff of Kamala Khan. Mm. You know, it's like, yeah. Because I've only read things where she just incidentally appears. Like that one Spider-Man run where she appears solely to be part of a mystery of, oh, who will die in this issue? And then it's just her and she gets killed off really unceremoniously so she can be brought back in another comic. And it's like, man, this is the cheapest way you can do that kind of story. It has zero stakes. Ow! See, I can talk about Spider-Man for hours. Anyway, if you want us to talk about anything, please distract. Distract us of literally any question. <laughs> Ow! Otherwise, you'll get us ranting about Shadow the Hedgehog or semi-obscure DC comics. Actually, seen the, the Black Adam movie or the 2023 Captain Marvel movie? Ah, uh, sorry, Shazam movie. Ah, uh, I hear Black Adam's at least a relatively competent movie in its own right, even if it doesn't have much plot to it. Like, it's The Rock doing superhero stuff, like, as an anti-hero. Uh, what's on the Super Mario Kun manga? I'd have to look that one up. What one is that? Is that the... I don't have any thoughts in this. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this and like... I have not read this. Have you? No. I've not heard right of then. it. Alright so we have no thoughts on it. Yep, that's, that's the answer to your question. We have no thoughts on it. Next question! <laughs> This owl is very not happy. Eh, uh, ah. Where am I going? Why did you pick this game? OMG! Do you like to suffer that much? Asks that to me problem. Have you seen some of the shit I play? Have you seen any of the pets of Z streams? Like, this is good. They're all like this. This is, this is a good game in comparison. This is, this is a good game. I mean, I've like, played... This is a good, if difficult, game. Those are just difficult games that happen to be barely games at all. Mostly, George just picks very silly games to talk over. Yeah, I mean... It's time to get it's stuff like while. Dog's Island. Oh god, not... I haven't actually played the Dog Island. Uh, that is something oh, that has... Cat Island. I was playing Pets Cats 2. Which Pets was exactly god. the same as know. Pets Dogs 2. Except it's cats. Yeah, that's why I kept getting me confused. Uh, but, I think George uh, is a masochist. I, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I, I do play things that hurt me. <laughs> oh yeah, pets hamsters. That was that was very bad. That was very bad. Um, I mean, I don't think anything has broken me quite as thoroughly as uh, horses for the GBA. Yeah, that one's that's a hard act to follow. That one you is. Know? Oh, that There's is. There's some atrocious games I could suggest. Not many of them. Bad. 
<laughs> Not many of them reach quite that level of just outright sucking. Yeah. Oh no. Alright, just. Yeah, no, I I put some shocking garbage. Uh, and some I have yeah, attempted to play, but some I have not yet managed. Like, at one time I was trying to see if I could play uh, Raymond Briggs' Father Christmas for the Sega Saturn. Uh, that yeah, didn't work out. Yeah, that'd be a out. hell of a holiday stream. That didn't work out. Because uh, I couldn't read it. Because it's only in Japanese. <laughs> it's, it's the only territory that game was released in. Yeah, and there's no like there's no rom hack to no, give, it, no give you a translation, translation. Because nobody in the history of mankind has ever cared about playing this. No, none, no one. So if you want to see some of the absolute depths of gaming that George has plumbed, you might it's want to there. check out his YouTube channel. It's all out there. You can see it all. You can see just how badly video games have treated me. Yeah, there are some atrociously bad video games out there. And there are many more to come. Because even the ones I'm planning on streaming at some point, when I have enough actual focus to sit down and do a solo stream for four hours, uh, even those ones, I'm trying. I'm going to try and aim for the like interestingly weird rather than outright bad. So that's most of the games I really have a lot to say about are the ones that do something really bizarre, but don't mm. necessarily do it badly. Yeah, they just do something off. Yeah. I mean, they may not do it well, mm. but they try to do something. Yeah. Because one of the examples I actually give quite a lot for that is the Super Nintendo Jurassic Park. Which is a top-down game, but also has first-person shooter elements in it. And the thing is, on the Super Nintendo, that is a feat of technical genius to get that to work. It's not necessarily a good game, and in fact, it, it might arguably be a bad one. <laughs> Part of streaming that is actually having to... Part of doing that is having to print out a map for it because it's technically a collective one. That must you must collect everything in the game, or you can't leave the island, and so the game never ends. Which is a decision they made. It is. Hey, George, what's the next game you're going to play? Asks Master Justin in much ruder way. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Hmm. It's a good question. I'm not sure what the next absolute trash game I'm playing is. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm not assuming you sure. just have a big list of them to get for at some point. Yeah, I just there are just some that exist and. <sighs> I've made a mistake! Or 
maybe not. I haven't got one, like, immediately on the docket for something I'm gonna yeah, do. There's, there's not one to, to say, oh yeah, we're doing, uh, Capybaras with a Z at the end. Yeah, like, a lot the of people try to convince simulator. me to play the babies games, but I... Oh god, no, those would just be really uncomfortable. I, I would just do not, I do not want to do that. Yeah. I, I do not want the tiny human game. No. Yeah, that just makes it weird. I don't know what it is that makes that weirder than any of the pets games, but also, yeah, it makes it weird. It is pretty weird, and I don't want to. Mask Justin says, pets, snakes. Is that a thing? I doubt it. I mean, I, maybe, I don't know. There's all sorts pets, of pets games. There's snakes. all sorts of things. Game. Nope. Shame. Doesn't seem to be. This is mostly people talking about the game Snake, where you have to avoid eating your own tail, or just like well, terrible apps. Yeah, well that's, pets, just, that's just Snake, humans. isn't it? I know some people who'd be into pets, humans. Take that to not work safe, chat, you know? Damn it, I still need the owl! Ah! Or do I? I do. I'm gonna lose so many coins going back to this owl. Yeah. Oh my god! I've already got the treasure from this level, I don't care. Yeah, if you really got the treasure, might as well just move on. Wow. Yeah, it's some kind of... ...ice cream sandwich. The pressure of this level is the tone. Which has a link on it, which is the name of the subject is conjectural and it's not been officially confirmed. Well, it's because they haven't. It's because they don't say! It's the guessing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're just looking at it and going, it's probably this. Yeah. Previous one being a clock, of course. Yeah, it looks more like a book now that it's not in the previous colour Oh yeah, that's a book. That is a book of some kind. The objective is go to the open door. Okay. Well, there it is. Objective complete. Alright, everyone. Oh. See you next time. Oh, there it is! There is, in fact, the door! <laughs> Not 
step on it! <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no floor under it! Yeah, honestly, I thought they were just gonna give you the exit right there and then go, but if you want the treasure, you have to work for it. No, I actually no, can't do you it. You can't leave. I can't leave. You'll never leave. Oh, now door four's open. I'll follow the arrow. The arrow says go this way. Although, all jokes aside, like, if you want to suggest incredibly terrible games, you can! Yeah! I will uh, happily you're welcome accept to join the any suggestions. It's Make just, suggestions you know, whether I'll now. do it is something else, but feel free. Yeah. I keep- I just keep doing the same thing, and- and then it keeps- It's the cycle of suffering. Okay. So if they land on me, they get fucked. Yeah. It's an inversion, unusual state of affairs. Uh, I need a link to the Discord. This time, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, is there a command to just do that? There is. Yeah, I don't know the command. I think it's just, uh, exclamation mark Discord. Discord. Discord, and how many of you sleep in the middle of the sun afternoon? There we go. So, anyone is welcome to hop in there and start giving, uh, just the worst games you can think of that we can get away with streaming. That I can actually use. That I can actually play. Okay. Yeah, th there are obviously res restrictions on that. We can't stream anything that is physically impossible to stream for whatever reason, such as a, a text-heavy game with no translation patch, or a game that physically will not work in an emulator. We can't stream anything against Twitch's terms of service. There's a lot of games you can get away with suggesting. You need to run into these guys. Alright. Hey, this works too. Die! Oh, yeah, this might actually be the better option until you get down here and get stuck somewhere. Planning on doing anything this Halloween. So no wacky costumes for me. Mm. Honestly, I just don't do anything in Halloween other than watch horror movies. I mean, same. I watch. No, not the, always. I watch. You know, not great movies. Yeah, they don't have to be good movies. Maybe I'll watch. The, maybe I'll watch the Savage Bees again. Savage bees. There were so many movies about evil bees. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Like when you brought it up, I think three of us were giving completely different guesses about what one it is. Yeah, and there's just there's so many. So many films just about evil bees. Now door three is open. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's them again. Yeah, 
I... I can't unsee it now. Yeah, I... Again, I get where the... Is this racist? Came from, but... Like, I wouldn't say it is. Like, it's the difference between... Jinx, the Pokemon, originally going, looking very much like, oh yeah, that is a hundred percent not cool. Why? Yeah. What were they thinking? And then they changed her power a bit. And it's like, okay, this is like it's at least not the thing you were doing before. Mm. Even if I don't particularly get what it is that you are doing. All right, treasure room. I did link an abandonware PC game, I think. I yeah. saw the one you linked. Yes. Yeah. About specifically, I was watching a video about like reality TV show games. Oh no. Of which there are many, and all yeah. of which are terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And this has to be one that was like, wait a second, is this is this a real thing? And then yeah. So it's a game about a guy who who like raises dogs. He's Caesar Milan, dog whisperer. Uh and there's a dog walking minigame in which there is a bar at the top of the screen going from submissive to dominant. It's all about walking your dog correctly, and I'm like, okay, this is objectively a funny thing to see in a game, so sure. Although I imagine it's there's not much to talk about because all these games tend to be very repetitive. Yes, but you never know. Although I would love to see someone just screwing around in one of the Robot Wars games. Oh, I have a couple of those lying around. Yeah. I could do that. Or th there's there's like an off-brand one that was genuinely pretty good. If oh um full of weird oversights. Oh, I think I know what you might mean. Um, I have it installed. I so cannot why? remember it's called, so I can't I'm find it. Of. Mm. Well, I got a yeah. copy of well, I got a copy of Robot Wars: Arenas of Destruction somewhere. Yeah, I had that for the PC, and that's while a bit clunky, at least an okay game. Yeah, I mean, I also it's... had. Um... So, I also had a copy of the Game Boy Color Robot Wars see, game. I had that one and it was atrocious. Oh, it's awful, yeah. It's so badly made. So, the actual optimum strategy on in almost every fight is to stay still, wait for the opponent to drive directly cr across the flame pit to get to you and die instantly. It's not very well programmed. Mm. Most, uh, most of the robots just control like complete garbage. There's not even in a, oh, you need to learn the quirks as robot, just there. Uh, yeah, this one goes zooming off in the wrong direction and trying to move. It's not a great game. Or even a good one. This'll do. I'll just, I'll just tell them as it's obvious. Robot Wars Metal Mayhem. It's definitely one I had, definitely was not good. Yeah. I did like that the Game Boy Color uh, cartridge was clear, though. Yeah, it's one of those clear It was a transparent ones. cartridge, which was really nice. Reception. Quote, if I was locked in a room with only a Game Boy in this game, I think I'd rather attempt to eat the Game Boy than play this. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, yeah. Uh, 
Stellar okay. endorsement there. Would you say or something? Yeah, I think it's something you say that has something. It has a very odd lineup of just random robots that are just like, okay, that's an odd inclusion. These are all like half number ones that went out in the first round. Well, yeah, but sometimes ones that always go out in the first round are iconic all on their own, Mortis. Yeah, sometimes they are. Most of the events in it just weren't that well programmed either. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure there'd be much to actually even say about that game if you were streaming it. Mm. It's a very shallow game in a lot of respects. Which as... Oh. As a kid who loved Robot Wars, that was just me going, oh, right, this is actually kind of bad. Leveled up! What is this game called? Uh... I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, feel free, have a look. Decruit. Games. Robot Arena 2. Yes! That that's it? familiar! That's familiar. Yeah, it's notable for having a... Oh, this is a 7. Yeah. It's notable for having a really odd bug in it, which is the like default mm. material your robot is made out of is better than any of the materials you can pay for. <laughs> it's okay. like fiberglass, but it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't have any weight to it. Uh, and so, in online tournaments, that's all anyone ever uses, because it's the most cost effect, oh, um, most weight effect, I don't remember. Yeah, online tournaments don't let you control the robots, because they'd be laggy as hell. And the netcode is obscenely terrible. So they say, okay, you build your robot and then you just put it on automatic. And it's like, wow, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. Still fun to build robots in it though. Like, you can still do some hot and cold running nonsense. Okay, I'm not getting that one. Yeah, you can live without one kind, can you? I mean, no, I'm Wario. I can't. But, uh... He will be destroyed by his own greed. Um, I have several Toho games downloaded here. Ah, oh, I never did get tank ticks working. That's a. Uh, how to put that? It's kind of a kind of a real-time strategy thing where you're building tanks out of constituent parts and sending them off to fight enemy tanks. It has this whole thing about you're actually controlling tanks in different eras of history. So you're flying around this little pterodactyl with a magnet on it at the start, picking up parts to build Stone Age tanks to fight against medieval tanks, and when you beat them, you're then taking their technology to get like tanks with trebuchets on them and fighting modern tanks and stuff like that. It's a very silly little game, and I wish I could actually get it to run because it's worth showing off, you know? Mm. It's one of those games I played a demo of. When I was younger, and I'm like, damn, this is stuck for me the whole time. Oop. Oh, oh, back. Sometimes there are those games that just stick with you. 
Yeah. Like, there are, there are, I'd love to find, like, a working copy of Redline Racer for the PC. But it's an utterly unremarkable bike racing game. There is nothing special about it. Oh, Absolutely yeah, nothing. Ah. Yeah, we used to get PC Zone when I was a kid, so we had the, the demo discs from that. Ah. Uh, I abandoned where download Redline is. Well, to be fair, I think I still have my actual copy somewhere, it's just getting it to work. Oh, there's a fix for Windows 7, so it's possible to... Mm, might be the there. Way. I'm just gonna dump all into that and work in Please. chat. I'll, I'll see what I can it's, do. It's abandonware. No, I'm assuming it's nobody has It's definitely abandonware, because, like, no one's yeah. done anything with it at all. Uh, it was published by Ubisoft. Who well, cares? Well, still from Ubisoft. Mind. Who gives a shit? Yeah, that's 25 years ago, and I'm like, they're not releasing another version to this anytime no. soon. No. Also, even if they would release it tomorrow, I don't care. Don't give Ubisoft any money. Uh, anyway. Uh... Oh. In fairness, like, those demo discs are how I learned about things like Heroes of Night and Magic 3, which is, like, that is a classic game. I'd honestly just stream myself playing that if I thought anyone would ever want to watch it. some people would, but it wouldn't I mean, really yeah, be about what's going on with the game, it would just be like talking about stuff over it, you know? Yeah, well, you know, people do remember Heroes of Light and Magic rather well. It is a great game. And it's not like forgotten or anything. People oh no. In fact, every time any game comes out in that series, people go, man, Heroes 3 was great, where did we go wrong? Answer, Heroes 4. The first game was very rough and unpolished, the second game was already a classic, and the third game just perfected it, and then they just overcomplicated it with everyone after. <laughs> time design was on point though, dungeon is best time. Everyone will have a different opinion on that. If you, if you have a favourite Heroes of Might and Magic 3 town, yell it out in chat. I will argue with you. You will be wrong. <laughs> uh, nah, I actually do respect, like, ah, uh, was it Cutio who said Ramparts? The, What's the swamp one? Fortress? Bastion, that's it. I think. That's one of all the like lizard men and basilisks and stuff, and cool plant stuff going on. I think it was Cutio that said it was your favourite, but I might be getting that mixed up with someone else. Man, I need to go and check now. Am I just imagining that? Oh, but I think I need them. I need to become a zombie. No, I'm probably thinking of someone else who said this. Who would have said that? Oh, I'm just gonna post it. So, 
on the AliExpress you sometimes see like, yeah, here, here's a giant mouse pad that is just a random screenshot of a game. Yes, yes. Or here's a hoodie that's just one of these. God, I ha I have somewhere in my house a uh, phone case for an iPhone, and I've never owned an iPhone by the way. Uh, uh -huh. I've owned it purely because when I spotted it in a in Poundland one time, I went, wait a minute, is that the cover of Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Baal? <laughs> it's a very distinctive cover, is the thing. And I was like, yeah, it is! It's actually yeah. just the art from the cover of that game on a one pound phone cover in a pound Yeah, like, shop. I'd buy that like, for a pound, you know? I absolutely yeah. did. And, like... It's gonna drop one of these in stream chat so people can see. And I was like, yeah, they definitely didn't pay for that. That didn't they happen. definitely did not. because <laughs> we're all ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I really must be thinking of someone else. Like, it's just... Yeah, it's pathetic t-shirts, some of which are just random pictures of Heroes Free. <laughs> One of the title screen of the game, but specifically the HD edition. Okay. And possibly the box art. Hmm. And one of the other ones that I linked was just Scotch video cassette, and it's just like the side thing of a VHS tape box. And someone going, no, this is ironically cool. Yeah, wearing a t-shirt or just a completely random, what's this called, Age of Empires 2 screenshot? Yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. I know oh. some people would be into that ironically. Like, my own aesthetic is not much more dignified than that. <laughs> to be fair, I would actually wear the uh, scotch tape. <laughs> yeah, one. that at least has the like retro aesthetic thing going on, you know? I'd wear that. I mean, I might feel somewhat like, am I really doing this? <laughs> when I'm... But, uh... Yeah. Listen, one of the t shirts that I have is the. The Amiga, like, insert disc symbol with the poorly drawn hand. <laughs> oh, that! It's because I went, yeah, that's my aesthetic. Fair enough. I am exactly this much of a nerd. Uh... And I did have a Psygnosis one at one point, like the weird oh. owl head thing. Oh, no. Except that one wore away so quickly, just like it's such a bad quality t-shirt, it just got obliterated. You know, The logo another, was not uh, visible after a year and just tossed out. People say to me, hey, Psygnosis, and I think, damn, they made G-Police, didn't they? <laughs> They made a lot of things. And, uh, but I remember G Police very specifically because I had it. It was one of the it. first games I had on my PC. Uh, mm -hmm. Mainly because it was one of the ones that came with my first PC. Yeah. Uh, I got there were a bunch of games that came packed in with, that I just they gave me the discs for for the first for the first PC I had. And one of them was G Police. One of them was Redline Racer. One of them was Tonic Trouble. Uh, 
One of them was, and this is the best one of the bunch, Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. Ah, oh, Microsoft 3D Movie which Maker. Which has a Windows 10 port now. Yeah. And it works. Uh, it, the Doraemon expansion hasn't happened yet, but it's being worked on as far as I understand. Uh, not that I actually want that for anything, but it's neat. It's neat. For those who want it, great. It is a very strange thing, so, you know. Yeah, let's see. Games I had when we got our oh, first and... PC. Ah, oh, and uh, I just remembered the two other ones. Pharaoh. Oh, Pharaoh. Which is great and recently received it's... a remake, which is also good. Yeah. Like, if you're into city building stuff, it's yeah, a absolutely really good get one. Um, and the other one Even was. Even all these years later, it's great. The other one was Very the Toy Story 2 action adventure game. See, our computer came boxed with, I believe, SimCity 2000 and Nuclear Strike, and we quickly picked up a like a double pack of Civilization 2 and Command and Conquer. Ah, uh, Civ 2. <sighs> Somehow out of all of those, like, I just kind of barely remember playing Nuclear Strike, I was terrible at it, and then put so many hours into all the other ones. <laughs> like, Civ 2 might be my most played game of all time, which considering my Civ 4 playtime is like 4,000 hours is saying something. This was in the days before Steam, so obviously I just did not have a way to keep track of how many hours I spent playing it. Yeah. The thing that... Yeah, because I, I never owned Civ 2 myself, but a friend of mine did, and I played it on their machine. And mm -hmm. I have this very, very strong memory of deliberately making the Vikings communist and sending them to space. Of course you did. Ah, oh, remember that. I've always tried to sort of ago. recreate communist Vikings whenever I do Civ. Yeah. There was a. There was a, like, save file someone posted to Reddit a few years back of, like, help my communist Viking, like, Utopia uh, has been stuck in a forever war, so it's not really a utopia at all. Not really, no. And basically, it's this, dude. Why have you played this for tens of thousands of in-game years past? Like, when you should have retired. Yeah, the game might be having issues at that and point. The game is just acting up in some amazingly weird ways, and of course people jumped on the opportunity to solve this as a problem, you know? And it's like, oh, you can do this one simple thing to save your empire. <laughs> Everyone's just like, how can we solve this game that absolutely shouldn't be working, and absolutely shouldn't be this long? How do we solve this? Yeah, Reddit Civ 2, The Eternal War. It has its own subreddit. The original post being, I've been playing the same game of Civ 2 for almost 10 years. The world is a hellish nightmare of suffering and devastation. There are three remaining Civ nations in the year 3991 AD. <laughs> The ice caps have melted over 20 times, somehow, <laughs> due primarily to nuclear wars. <laughs> Every inch of land in the world that isn't a mountain is swamp land, useless to farming, and it's all irradiated anyway. <laughs> There's been 
been stuck in a forever war for 1700 years. It's, it's like this classic. Okay, guys, I've kind of done this stupid thing in a game, kind of thing. Yeah. Help. This is dumb. Alright, final level of this path. Capture the ghost! I'm fucking Luigi! Yeah! Yeah... Every... It, like... Everybody's first instinct is going, Oh, switch to fundamentalism and you'll easily win, and it's like, that's not the point. These are communist space vikings. Yeah, that's that's what they are. <laughs> you can't just go, Oh, you'll solve all your problems if you become a completely different political entity. Yeah. It's like, yeah, let's devolve into fundamentalism. That will solve us problems. Yeah, the other two... Nations left are fundamentalists, and everyone's going, Oh, well, you can match your military outfit by doing this. It's like, that's not the point. It's an easy win, but it's not the point. Oh, I have to go the other way. And people started writing fiction set in this world. This was like 11 years ago. Of course though. they did! <laughs> so it's, it's way older than I remember it being. I'm saying, oh, a couple of years ago, and it's. God, it's from 2012. Look, that is a few years ago to us. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are, like, old now. We are old. We're old and decrepit. You know, it's cool. Old man running the world, a new age. School. You know, I had that that particular. I would describe it as a poop, despite it being a machinima. Yeah. Uh, it's just ingrained in my memory for all time. Old men running the world. Within six months. No. Go the gun show, you're planning on streaming Deus Ex, and it never panned. No, out, it never happened. It's fine because it needs to be cutie old playing. It that. does. But it would be great to see, you know, Deus Ex on like in that stream or to for me to convince James to play that. But then again, she's played that game to death. She'll be doing that. Oh, I'll do everything exactly as the game, as the strategy guides say for this game, and it's like, yeah, it's better to go in blind. That can be funny in its own way. I've seen, like, especially if you take some wacky, insane. Yes, we've all seen the anti walk yeah. for. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I've seen like uh, one person do like tried to do all the Dark Souls games using the IGN guides and precisely do what the IGN guides say. <laughs> Nothing else. You cannot beat it because those guides are not accurate. You have to do precisely those things. And they do them, but sometimes that involves them, like, running out to buy things from the local shop to go and do something that they say is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> And th some of the strategies they made them do were legitimately insane. 
but mm -hmm. they eventually came good most of the time. But they were all completely wild, and you would never do them. Yeah. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, I'll just flip a coin, and then I'll see which one I go in. Okay. We're going in this one. Oh, a switch! And there's nothing else in here. Yeah. I wonder what that did. Oh yeah, though, it changed these platforms. Yes, good. Having to explain what Cruelty Squad was earlier I see. on a on a call over uh, when QT was streaming. What was it? Let's build a zoo. Right. Just because someone went, "Huh, what's Cruelty Squad?" and then brought it up, and it's like, eh, technically, it's, uh, it's an immersive sim. Very technically. Yeah. It's such a weird game. Yeah, I mean, its aesthetic is, uh, I want to make your eyes hate you. Yeah. It's deliberately the most ugly, garish aesthetic you can have for a game. And honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually saw other games aping that and not really getting what made it work. Which is... Yeah. There needs to be some real intention behind that. Are you gonna break over that cursed chest of drawers? No. Zombified? It's just gonna have a ghost in it. I'm not. This is gonna have a ghost in it. I'm not gonna. Do I don't need the ghost. Alright, stop being dead. Thank you. <laughs> What is it this time? It's a skull. It's a skull. I got a skull. Yeah. 
so there was a there was an Amiga game called Valhalla and the Fortress of Eve, which had like voice clips in it. Yeah. And there's an Amiga Power cover disc that had those remixed into a song. Uh it's basically a very early kind of YouTube poop thing. Oh good. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain what kind of game it is. It's like a top-down puzzle game kind of thing. Uh, it's a self-described speech adventure because it had actual dialogue in it, which was unheard of at the time. Sure. Ghost has captured Captain Zero. Uh -huh. um, why do I care? So. Money cheat you can get at right away in Robot Wars Arenas of Destruction. Oh! It's just, there's a, a glitch in that, in that you can buy things from Scrapyard for cheap and then sell them at their regular price because it doesn't actually track that they're from Scrapyard. <laughs> and so you can quite legitimately just have infinite money at the start of the game. Find anything about the uh, uh, anything about whether the game was actually as good as I remember, which was not particularly good, but still yeah. but kind of goodish. There is okay. I remember yeah, I didn't, having I didn't fun with it. it. Yeah, Although I do remember a them. brief period, if I don't know if I'm remembering this right. I think there was a period when it was only like available from the BBC store, literally like the in the the like not the website, the because this was before then. I mean the actual like physical store. Yeah. Which uh, was in a place in London, as I recall. Yeah, typical London-centric. 
Uh, apparently, the reception was mixed to negative, getting 41% and 50.50% for PC and PlayStation 2 versions, respectively, from the game ranks. Yeah, generally, it's like it's seen as a very mediocre game because the controls aren't great and it's extremely easy. Like, not just because you can have unlimited money right out the gate, just the AI is kind of stupid. games were a thing and then they just stopped being a thing. Yeah, I do. I do. The only thing I remember from techno games was the huge skeleton. The big skeleton yeah. climbing robot. I know exactly what you mean. Which was worse than ah. all the other climbing robots because it was designed like a human. Yeah, was when, when a robot climbing no. thing, you think, some people went... Okay, just put like wheels and spokes and it'll just go That's zip it. straight up. Ah, uh, Skeletron was the, the put, skeleton one. Yes. Put a picture of it in the chat if you can, so they know yep. what we're talking about, because Robot Skeleton yeah, doesn't it, say a lot. Oh, we, we recreate the human motions needed to claim this rope, they don't. It's just this is weird, like, thrusting kind of movement up and down. Yeah. And the other one just literally just rolled up the road Yeah, because we were just wheels. like with wheels. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, five second time. Yeah, and all the other net and the skeleton's like, three minutes! Because it's doing it. It wasn't even three minutes, it was way longer than three yeah. minutes. But the fact is, I find it a far more interesting robot. Yeah, it was. But it's not just a wheel. That's. That's why they immediately went, okay, next time we're splitting this into two competitions. And they were right to do so. They are right to do so, it's just like Skeletron never stood a chance. No. They tried to make you something you were not. I feel like we need to do some Robot Wars thing at some point now. Mm. Even if not necessarily actual licensed Robot Wars stuff, there's got to be something adjacent to that that's funny enough to stream. Yeah! game wasn't quite as terrible. Now, given that that was such a long way back, I'm just gonna save state. Ah! And that's what I do it for. Robot Wars, big 
extreme destruction. That was a different game, I think, yeah. It's a Game Boy Advance one. Are these two different ones? Does it just have I think they are games? different games. Yeah, they are different games. One is the PC one and one is the GBA. I think I had the other one. I think I had the other one. The PC has a... The Xbox has a respectable score. Does it say anything about the PC one? Maybe that's the other one, but... I'm trying to find anything about the GBA one. Yeah, um, I, we talk a lot, but don't go ahead. I have no respect for the boss design of this game, so... Yeah, this is get hit once and you're out. It's, it's just, that's how Wario works. It's not necessarily a fun game design. It's not good. Right, I've hit him twice. Save him again. I wonder if this is going to be a rule of three. <laughs> Apparently not. The rule of three is... Ah! They turn red! Orange fly. God! God! You know, this ghost is kind of, like... Kind of really resembles one of the ghosts from the Casper. Oh jeez! I haven't thought about those for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I think there's more than one movie. I remember there being more than one, but I never saw one. Casper was a thing. Yes. Not originally, of course. I'm not that old. Oh, no. <laughs> you completed the left half of the map. Yeah, it's it's ready. It's likely gonna be another stream before we get to the end. Oh, of this. absolutely. We're, we're no way are we doing the remaining ten levels and plus anything else that's afterwards in this amount of time. But yeah. we can at least make a start. Oh no! We can try. Time to go in the hole. I've gone in the spooky hole! <laughs> spooky hole. Oh, I woke up. It was all a dream. to get a new bed. I had the same bed for years back when I had back when I had no money, so it's not a very good bed. Somebody back when I was back in uni days, mm -hmm. they couldn't afford to get a new bed when theirs broke, so what they did was they bought something which was much more affordable, uh, i.e. Uh, about fi about 500 blocks of printer paper. Uh -huh. And then they made a big bed shape out of it and threw a mattress on the top. printer paper bed, yeah. 
And they used it slowly as their printer paper. <laughs> they had it gradually goes down. goes down over time. Of course, that is effectively the same as have a giant block of wood as your bed. Which wasn't the best. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that would have been very convenient. But it was cheap. For a bed. Yeah, as soon as my brain's out of, oh, I need to hoard all of my money modes, then, you know, I'm going to just buy a nice bed. Term viewers will know why I don't expect to get any of my deposit back from my last place. Because it's a landlord. Because of the landlord. Because the whole so many things were going wrong. Sort of I was saying. Get money out of you without doing anything. I was saying to my landlord, "Hey, I legitimately cannot fix any of these. These are your problems. You get to know you have to fix them." And they're like, "Okay." just them going, hey, I want your deposit. Yeah. So I just kind of went, okay, I guess you're not... I guess neither of us are getting happier at it. Mm. And I'm assuming they can't actually ask me for anything beyond the deposit. They can't. I'm also like, Legally, no. Eh, my brain will not let me acknowledge that until they say, okay, we're pocketing the deposit. And then I can go, oh, thank God, yeah, sure. Oh no, how bad. How terrible. I'd already written that off because you're a landlord. Yeah. Because they're a landlord and because they refuse to give any kind of help to anything that I reported. Is saying, hey, this is not something I've caused and it's not something I can deal with. Can you help? No. place had so many humidity problems. Like, there's very possibly a pipe had burst upstairs, but I was kind of terrified of my upstairs neighbours. For very justifiable reasons. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why my brain is still stuck in there. Oh, what if I suddenly need all of this money mode? Even though I know I don't. So we all have to see what happens when my landlord actually gives the. Oh, well, I'm just going to take all of the deposit and I can just go, okay, move on. Eighty percent across the board. Yeah. And there's the treasures, including that mask we brought up earlier. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There it is. It's right there. It's right horror. There. There's Star you from Pokemon. Yeah. A, a real treasure. A real treasure. I bet you Star Year and Star Me are someone's favorite Pokemon. They have to be. Everyone, every Pokemon, Pokemon is someone's. someone's favorite. Yeah. Like my favorite is Gloom. And people will just go, "What? That one? How can you like that?" And like, everyone likes different things. Everyone likes different things. I think it's very charming. Have a like fruit tall gloom plushie. It's adorable. Oh yeah, that is. Ah, oh, that there is a po there is a point that I mentioned uh, on the docket in the near future because it's oh. it's one of the. I've been trying to like fulfill things that people have requested, mm. which is why I did. Uh, why I got around to. Ah, why I got around to inscription because you yeah. you yourself were like do it. 
Yeah. And then I did it. It was right. It's good. And then I discovered later afterwards that loads of people who also played it didn't realize there was story in Casey's mod. And now it's they're going to have story. to do Casey's mod. There's apparently even more story stuff in the Switch version, but I'm like... Oh god. I'm not buying the Switch. I'm not buying- I'm not buying the Switch version specifically. Yeah. There's stuff that someone was saying to me about this, it's like, Oh, did you know about this inscription lore? And I'm like, no, because it sounds like you're just making this up. There's some parts that do sound like bad fanfiction. Yeah, apparently, no, this is canonical, so... But I do have to say bad fanfiction, there's good fanfiction. Of course there's good fanfiction. Like, I've written it. Just like there's bad fiction. fiction. Yes. People who say, oh, fanfiction, that's all terrible, that's all for people who can't get published, it's like, no. It's also for people who do there, get published. There are some legitimately great fanfics out there, and... An alarming amount of actual modern novels started as fan fiction and then had the names all changed. True, mm. but the ones I'm thinking of in my brain right now are very bad. Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey sounds Twilight fan fiction. Uh, yeah. there's. Oh, and. Oh, yeah. What is that? Terrible one that started as a Harry Potter fic. I don't know. Uh, I think actually that might have been Twilight. No, that wasn't. I'm thinking of. Uh, it's one of these young adult novel ones. Uh, is it Twilight? It's. The City of Bones, Mortal Instruments, something like that. I couldn't tell you, I've not read it, but it's someone shipping two siblings in the Harry Potter universe and then filed off all of the numbers and said, actually, no, these are just unrelated characters now. And they're like, okay, I guess it's better than the alternative, it's still terrible. <laughs> uh, God, I don't even know what book that is I'm talking about, because obviously it's not one that I care to look up. Yeah. And people joke about the Lot's Tomb being Homestuck fanfiction. It's not, but you can see the influence if you've read Homestuck. Like, you can go, oh, okay, this is, like, this is where this style comes from, but nothing else. There is a fic that I am writing for a, a game that is still in progress. I think it was, yeah, there's definitely passages off to the upper left and bottom right here. There's a lot of secrets in this room. Ah, there's this one big secret. Yeah, there's a fic I'm writing, it's like an AU fic for a a game that is being released, like, in multiple parts. So the whole thing isn't out yet, and it's very possible that, like, the last part comes out and invalidates all of my characterization in this fic, at which point I'm just gonna file the numbers off and say, yeah, this is its own thing. <laughs> Level four? Four! I got shat out as an egg. Yep. It turned into egg, Wario. Yeah. If we were on Tank's channel, we would just stand egg in chat and got the, the creepy egg guy. No, this is not Tank's channel. None of that. Hey, sentient cookie. Yep. Yeah.
Yeah. On the other hand, if it turns out I am completely correct in my assessment of, like, the main characters of the story I'm writing, I, I can just post it. Just kind of waiting for the next part of that game to come out. And for you ask, no, it's not a Valve game, I'm not waiting for part 3 of it. Yeah, because that would be silly, that love would be a long time. joke about her Val can't count to three anymore. So you don't get total three or half life three or Yeah you get ricochet two. Or half life episode half life two episode three or anything with a three in it really. Like three dead. Left 4 Dead free, it would be, I guess. I never actually got a chance to play Left 4 Dead. Oh, Left 4 Dead 2 was really, really good. And 1 was also good, but 2 improved a few things. Like, I've played Payday 2 with friends, but the, the one time friends in another server went, Hey, let's play Left 4 Dead 2, we're all gonna get together here, we've got a fourth slot, do you want to join? That I got there and everyone had cancelled for different reasons, and I'm like, oh. And then they just never played it. And oh. Time Zones never lined up again. So I had this, like, what, 20 gigabyte game installed for no reason? For no reason at all. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, at least Payday 2 is fun. Yeah! And it, re and it has remained so. Now, the actual, like, normal path here, which we've not done yet. We went down all the weird paths first. Yeah, haven't actually done the actual second world yet. Turn the hen to her nest for no. reasons. Yeah, this is weird. Enemies. Wario's giving a shit about something other than themselves. These enemies on a much later level, you know? Yeah, haven't actually seen yeah, haven't actually seen. This is where you're meant to first meet them, I think. Yeah. Oh. I don't think that's the hand, I think that's a worst. I know, I just need an enemy. Ah. 
two pizzas really delicious though. Like you mix mix in like pumpkin into the sauce instead of tomato and it's really rich flavor. It's a lot more set up though. So many doors to check out. I'm gonna head back. Okay, there's definitely some way in there. Oh, that's how. Get in there. Helmet thing. Helmet guys. Alright. Second. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I didn't spot them, so. Thank you. What have we got? Shoe. Oh, the Pegasus boots. The Pegasus boots. From the Zelda games. Mm. They're boots that make you run fast. Wings on them.
apparently I was right. The, the Mortal Instruments' first book being City of Bones did start as Harry Potter fan fiction. That must have been what I heard. It's one of those situations where people can literally point to, hey, this exact line is in this other thing with the same premise. And so people are able to say, yeah, this is just the same author. Laid an egg bigger than its body. Mm -hmm. And then when that hen lays an egg, you're gonna have an even bigger hen. Oh great. Escape the wood. Wario's Woods. Wario's Woods? Still haven't actually ever played Wario's Woods. We need to stop swimming this immediately to play through Wario's Woods instead of these levels. I see. No. <laughs> It's not a right puzzle game. Yeah, and it was like right at the end of Nez's lifetime. Yeah. I've also never played Mario and Wario. Ah, uh, Mario and Wario, what is that? Exclusively in Japan in 1993 requires the mouse. Okay, that would be why I haven't heard of it. <laughs> yeah, if you can. Let's see, English. Oh, the game contains no written Japanese whatsoever and is entirely in English. Sure. Another okay, one of those, so eh? you, can, you can just stream it without any changes, I guess. Yeah, uh, you know, I just have to get a a, a, a Nez with the mouth. I mean, uh, a, a Nez or Nez-like software that will also run my mouse as a Nez mouse. Um, is this, is this yeah. a Super Nintendo game? Yeah. Because I was thinking the graphics look way too detailed to be a NES one. And it is just mostly graphics that are from, or at least similar to Super Mario World. So I think I've seen some of the, the unique blocks used in ROM hacks. Which 
Which bed? Mario, stop being drunk. Find my way to water. Yeah. It's going to be a way in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <sighs> so is that just showing you something you can get to from another side? Let's assume that's the case. I can't see a way.
Stop being drunk! How do you even get drunk when someone throws a ball at you? <laughs> yeah. In fairness, the original Japanese spray is throwing beer at you. What is Mozilla Firefox? That water. Oh, okay. Or just die. It's, you know. Just die and reincarnate. Yeah, because I'm Wario, but, you know. Wow. That's what Wario I'm does. I'm forever trapped in the cycle of reincarnation. You know, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Why is this too many dices to achieve Nirvana? I had to have missed something. A dead end. All right. 
Is there any way in? Oh, so that's how you get to that one. That's just... that's just reverse. <laughs> See, there has to be a way in there, but also it's very funny that it is. They're just teasing you that you're one block away. Well, we were thinking that earlier, and then that wasn't true. Hmm. Ah! This is birds. Yeah, it was here. It was here all right. wrong. So that way is is a dead end. I'm, in fairness, it's a Wario game. Of course, it trolls you like this. Yeah. That makes you fat. Oh, that makes you fat. Top five. What do we got? A uh, knife. A knife. Uh, some sort of sacrificial A knife. Dagger. Oh, 
me. I want the level me. Is the dagger? That's right, about the previous one being Pegasus Boots. Thank you. Oh. oh. Another piece of the puzzle. Mm, Pyro is typing an intimidatingly long message. Hmm, maybe one. Alright, it's all fine. Hmm. Ah, just one more. One more, I think. Then we'll end up in somewhere where I have to do a... I guess this is the actual level... I guess the one that... I can't indicate them because uh, it won't let me the go there. The one that you're pointing to right now, or the oh, one I can't, below I, that, or I, below right, that? Below the one I'm pointing at, and then yeah. to the left of it. Mm -hmm. I think that's the normal 2-5. Because uh -huh. then that leads to world three. So there is another secret world off of two four. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, you kind of went down the weird route first. Yeah. Get in the teacup. Get in the teacup. No, it's hot. I wanna go. SST cup. Oh good, a water level. Everyone loves those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water levels in games tend to not be good. <laughs> it's not always the case. There's some fantastic water levels in some games. It's just usually the oh we're changing it so you move really slowly and have none of your moves. That's usually all of it. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I guess I could make chocolate tiffin really cheaply and just like make an absolute ton of it, but I wouldn't be able to eat it myself, because... because I have to make it gluten-free. <laughs> uh, ah, well, at least, apparently, the people at that meeting that I was at with Pyro, like, flapjacks. I claim to be a family recipe to just give to absolutely anyone. This isn't like some pointed, like, oh, we're family, or actually, I hate family recipes. No, it's, it's fine, it's, it's just I don't think family just, recipes. I don't think you should keep yeah, recipes that's, you should... secret. <laughs> The forbidden knowledge. Yeah. 
Because no one in my family wrote any of them down, and it's like, this would all just be lost if I didn't. Seagulls. They look so uh, happy to be doing this for me, warrior. Try to be less bad. You just need to be good at games, Charge. It's so easy. It's so easy. Just be All you good have to do is at, not games. Suck at games. Yeah, just have to be good. I wouldn't lose it, and then guess what happened? You lost it? I lost it. I found it again. No! It's a cloud. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Yep. Bottom right. Gem! Gem is excitement. Gem is adventure. All I can think of right now is that video where Prozy D does the gem theme in the style of Werner Herzog, and it's so fucking yeah. good. 
Man, say what you will about Jem. Had some great songs in that show. I don't know if uh, it was a, like, a little while ago, but there was a comics run of Jem, and it was very, yeah. very good. I'm told it's good, yeah. Never actually read it. Ah, uh, I think that was an IDW comic, actually. Uh, I'd have to check. I think it was. Like the same people that were doing Sonic and Mega Man. And the uh, same people that did the incredibly good Transformers run. Yeah, I just can't read Transformers comics. I don't know why, it just doesn't click in my brain. Yeah, Gem and Holograms, I need to be. There's quite a few... No? Misfits got their own... ...on one, and it's like, yeah, love them. Misfits are one of the rival bands in it, who, in the opening theme, both of their songs are better, and they're right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, every song they sing is a villain song. They're all great. Like, the gem, gem songs are hit or miss, and mostly kind of just, you know... Music, like pop music, is about whatever is happening in the current episode. You know, the Misfit songs are all completely insane fantasy sequence super villain stuff. It's great. To say nothing of the Stingers, who are what if there was a, gl a glam rock group who were super villains. <laughs> Alright, we're here at the weird crossroads. Jim and the Hawkers, here we are. But, you know, I'm not a peak of human excellence like Wario. Yeah. out of shape because uh, every time that I've tried to get back into like a serious exercise routine of any type I just end up for unrelated reasons completely wrecked for a couple of weeks and then that throws off all of the progress I've made. Hmm. 
Expecting there to be like one of silver coins. It can happen. It can happen, but there's no point trying to force it by breaking every block. Mm. I think a majority of them, that's enough to probably get them. mentioned that we've got an upcoming like quarterly work meeting. Mm -hmm. Like I I work remotely. My boss basically never sees me outside of video calls. Uh but the quarterly meetings are mandatory for everyone and every time my boss decides to go Oh we're all going to the boat regatta or we're all or this time we're all going on this three hour round trip walk. An hour and a half out of town to some like overpriced pub. Some food. And then the walk back and I'm like, great, I am not gonna get any sleep tonight before either. And I'm gonna be up at 6 a.m. I'm going to be delirious as hell by the end of that day. Oh well, it happens. It's no price to pay for being employed. Technically, I work in an area that is far too expensive for me to ever live in unless I win the lottery or something. <laughs> You know, not gonna do that. Yeah. Honestly, I ha I do enter it, but I have a very strict budget put aside that's basically this money is going to go to waste, and I'm pretty much aware of that. Like, if I wasn't playing the lottery just as a thing which I pay zero attention to and just go, okay, brain, now shut up, I'd probably be spending that money on gacha games or something. But since I don't have any of those I want to play. games I wish were just actual real games that weren't trying to milk money out of people. That would be nice, yeah. And I love the setting and characters of Ark Knights. I can't recommend it to anyone because it is a gacha game. It wants your money. Thing. 
explode. Ah! Third of all. I saw its eye! <laughs> That's what you call it. A feather? I guess it is a wing. It's like the P wing from from what's it called? Mario Bros. 3. It's a great P on it. Somewhere in that level was a way to another room. We're on track to actually finish this next time. Yeah. And not be a hugely long stream to get there. Mm. So I don't think there's. Yeah, there's. Um, there's. Uh, there's this. Of us there's there. this. There's the entire route this way. And there's anything else that the game throws at us for having done it all. Right. I'm reasonably certain there's. Only one extra level after you get all of that. This is a mm. now here's the real final boss kind of thing. But it's possible there's more, so maybe I don't know. I will look for the way into the other room. Mm -hmm. The level looks fairly linear, but I might have missed. Ah! Posting the like AliExpress like random screenshots from games printed on stuff and, and just like the hero's free hoodie stays on. It's it's not even like oh this is a cool piece of art from the the box art or the menu screen. This is just a random screen cap of a random level. And it looks like a randomly generated level too.
everything slightly difficult. I found it, but... Oh, I can do this. Alright, I'm just gonna leave, because I think those blocks will remain broken. Definitely the last one. <laughs> Listened to Tyro's like the speech that Tyro was writing at 3 a.m. last night. I know exactly when he lost track of what he was writing. <laughs> it's fine, it all worked out in the end. This is very funny to see him starting to mix metaphors in a really bizarre way. Just looking at his script and going, that can't be right. I haven't appreciated this before, but the way that Stoke just sort of hangs in the air like a cartoon character for a moment before dropping down, I like yeah. that. Yeah, that sounds fun. Oh 
Okay. Yeah, did it. Okay, both groups are now open. So I don't actually need to find any more. Mm -hmm. I think this game is choices matter on the Steam store. <laughs> <laughs> well, hooray. I don't need to do this any... Well, no. I do. I'll be doing this again next week. But it'll be the last one. Probably. Assuming I don't fuck up. And somehow, magnificently. Alright. Wario's done for the day. Wario's going for a big Wario nap. Waz. Let's check. It's always going out at this time. Uh, that's about it as far as people we both know. Because I'm looking at this and it's like, oh yeah, old timey computer show. Yeah. Like, no one reads that, but. I mean, I have. It's so a good channel to have on in the background. I have done that before. Yeah, if you're doing that, you're doing it as a gag. If I'm doing that, it's, I've got nothing fine. else. I have nothing else. Yeah. But uh, that is not the case. It's always good to introduce people to it, because, like, if you grew up with those shows, this is a huge nostalgia thing. I mean, I suppose so. But I do have somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know what Squidpunk's playing. It's called Eternite. Eternite. Don't know what that is, but it's Squidpunk, and so it'll probably be fine. Whatever yeah. it is, or at least interesting. I'm looking at it on, like, in Google Image Search, and it looks very anime. I mean, it does sound like it would be. Yeah. From the name. But, uh... Eternites is a unique blend of dating and action <laughs> where <laughs> players can explore a post apocalyptic world filled with danger, love, and adventure. Okay! Yeah. That, that... Eternites is a dating action game where you try to make most of life during the apocalypse. Okay, well, All that's right. what we're going to see. It's a very anime, we are going to go there, there will be... No arguments about this. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, it's just what we're doing. Bye. This fate is unavoidable. <laughs>